All right, had to break the old trusty K and M side by side out this morning to maybe educate a few people, namely one I think over there on Rimfire Central. Okay, I'm going to go around to the other side of this tree and I'm going to zoom this camera in here. Okay, this is the tree where I posted a picture of the actual kernels of some nuts. Let me see if you can see them nuts on this tree. Okay, it has bear this year. You may can see them nuts in that camera there. Okay, we're going to go around and I'm going to show you what the bark on this tree looks like. Okay, I've come around to the other side of this tree. You can see those nuts up there. Now, they're, they're big with the green hull on them, okay? And these will resemble a shag bark when they're laying on the ground. Okay, but I want to show you the bark on this tree here. This is not a shag bark hickory. I'm going to take you to a shag bark hickory here in just a minute. It's, there's two or three right behind me. Zoom this camera out. See the bark on that tree? That is not a shag bark. All my research tells me this is a shell bark hickory. Okay. Let's see it there. See how thin the strips are here? See how narrow the strips are? Those are narrow. Okay, a shag bark is a lot wider. We're fixing to go over here and look at a shag bark. Now, this tree here makes real good nuts. Okay. And it has bared pretty good this year. It didn't do so good last year. So let's turn this camera off and we're going to step. Actually, I can pan around. You see it right there. The tallest, two tallest trees. That's those are shag bark hickories. Okay, not very far from me, about 125 yards. Okay, now this is a shag bark. Now it has a big nut as far as when the outer is on it, okay, but the outer on this nut is thicker, and the nut Inside, compared to that shell bark I just showed you, is smaller, plus these have a thick hull on them. I've busted some out from one of these trees here. There's there's three trees here. We're going to go up here. I'm going to turn the camera off. We'll go up here and look at the bark. Okay, now I'm up pretty close to this shag bark. See how wide this is here? See those strips, how wide? Okay, that's the difference. A shell bark, it has loose bark on it, but the strips that are sort of protruding from the tree are a lot narrower. You see up this one here. Okay. So that's the difference. And the nuts are not the same on these trees. You might think they're the same finding them on the ground, but when you start busting them, and now these nuts here have what you call more ridges in them. Okay. So they're, they're sort of round, but they've got those corners that sticks up. If you notice in the bucket I put over there on Rimfire Central, those nuts have small ridges that protrude. They're more round. And yeah, they look like pecans, and they look a lot like English walnuts when they're busted. That's why I bust them. They're that good. So maybe this will help some people out. It's a big old tree here. I squirrel hunt over here a little bit, but now there's a house here behind me. I have to be careful here. Okay, this is a tree that sits about 50 feet on around from the tree I just showed you, and it's loaded too, okay? It looks like all these trees over here are loaded with nuts. But I ain't seen no squirrel this morning. Of course, I come up here in this side by side. I'm going to bust some of these nuts off this shell bark hickory and show it on video. Um, I'm not, I don't know of another tree like this around here. And I've been in these woods for years walking many, many steps. I hope y'all enjoyed the video.